Hi, this is Coach Tony Morgan, and today's ball what we're looking at is a Glad Hill Electromate 2000. And what we've got is no hot water and no heating. So we've been investigating what the problem is, and we found the following. We turn the power on, and we had a funny display on the PCB, which is giving some um, suspect that the board had gone. The second problem what we had is on this heating element here, that overheat thermostat here, a tripped. So I reset it, then that sent power up to the um, relay. I checked back at the heating element down here to see if power was present, but there was none. The second thing we did, I noticed that this overheat that had also tripped. I reset that. Then we got power at the heating element here. So what I suspected is that we've got circulation problem because them two stats had tripped. So the primary pump was the problem. Now I'm going to show you what's happened after that so I'm going to turn up unit on watch this I've turned it on and you can see no display on the main board so the main board <coughs> is definitely at fault because that should say on going down here again to the pump I'm going to show you how you can prove that the pump is faulty I've took the screw out, which you can see, <coughs> out the centre. Right, if you just come here for us, um, Michael, just keep the camera there. Because the power's on, so it's very dangerous this while I'm doing this. So now, we add power at the pump, but it's now not turning. So there it goes. Can you hear it? But it's very weak. Now you can hear the relay chatting up there. So anyway, the pump is definitely faulty. Let's get a bit now. So I took the screw out. Took the screw out there. Now, if I can stop it, so I've stopped it now. Like that. That tells me the pump's very weak. So the pump's definitely gone once replacing. And that's why these, this thermostat overheated. You can hear the PCB making this noise. As I said, no display. So you've got a board fault and a pump fault. See the lights come back on now by itself. And then it's doing that. So that's the end of this diagnostic on this um, fault and the end of this video. So if you've got any comments, you want to drop us a line, we're glad to hear from you. So that's it from me and I'll see you on the next video.